today we are going to talk about a very common problem that a lot of people have and that is being unable to go to sleep and it is actually incredibly easy to go to sleep and it's surprising how many people like just can't do it it's a on a very different level of mental control you know what i mean like it's not very cut and dry you kind of got to be aware of your brain to do it very easily and you know a lot of people uh they have trouble sleeping right and the main thing about this is that you have to want to sleep i'm sure a lot of people are already like commenting i've tried i've tried i've tried but they don't they have that sort of i call it a little bit of pinch where they they say that they're trying but they really don't want to go to sleep they just want to stay up and play video games which i mean no harsh vibes but uh, one of the easiest ways to go to sleep is to want to go to sleep. Like you truly want to go to sleep. If you want to stay up, you'll stay up. So I have a few other uh, tips to, uh, that I'm going to talk about in this video to help you, you know, sleep. And it is uh, surprisingly easy. And I'll just go down the list. I have some tips. And don't try all of them at once. I want to try all of them at once because that would be too much. But you try a few and they work actually really well. But uh, it's important to remember that you're going to have to want it, right? You can't just, if you want to stay up, you know, just realize that in yourself. Don't lie to yourself. If you want to stay up and play video games, you want to stay up and play video games. You know, it lowers your chief flow to lie. And it also uh, lowers your chief flow to not sleep. And like for me, if I just realize that you are unhealthy if you don't sleep, right, that puts me right to sleep. Because I'm like, wow, I don't want to freaking die five years earlier or whatever because I didn't sleep enough. You know, it's better for your chi flow to sleep. And that's usually enough for me right now because, you know, I know how to deal with the whole thing. But uh, that's, you know, easier said than done. If that doesn't work, you could always try turning off the lights now uh, a lot of people like sleeping with the lights on it is dumb as hell it's bad for your eyes so yeah don't sleep with the lights on that's a that's a ground one uh, another thing too it's this is a pretty good tip when you get into it like two minutes in you just like get in your bed in a position and you don't sleep for like a few minutes and don't, if you do this strategy like 20 minutes into not sleeping, but like sitting in your bed and just staring at the ceiling, it won't work nearly as well. But like, sort of like in the puberty of a whole going to sleep thing, you think to yourself how annoying it would be to get up. This is, this and uh, realizing how healthy it is to not sleep and uh, turn off the lights and realizing how difficult it would be to get up when you want to sleep works for me every night those are my three basic tips but they aren't you know going to work for everyone everyone's different so i have a few other tips but i recommend trying those you know they work very well another great way to go to sleep let's say you stay up for like 20 hours and you're about to totally crash right Try to condition yourself. Like you need to have a certain mindset every time you go to sleep. Like for example, let's say before you go to sleep, like 20 hours in, you're finally getting some sleep for sure. You can eat some like a certain food, but only eat that food before you go to bed. So your brain, you know, equates the certain food that you only eat when you're about to go to bed with you about go about to go to bed right so these are good because like when the hell else are you going to eat these fucking small oranges another thing that helps me a lot is that I, I ground my teeth a lot when I sleep so I have to wear a mouth guard right but I only wear this when I sleep so when I put this in I get tired as hell I just it's amazing how it works so you can always try to you know, condition yourself and every time you're going to go to sleep for sure you do something, and when you want to go to sleep, you know, two weeks later, you can't, 
and you, you know, put in the mouth guard or eat the small orange that you only eat at that time, it'll, you know, it, your mind will equate that with going to sleep and it'll help you. You know, you condition yourself. And another cool thing that you can do is think of absolutely nothing. Now, this one works 100% of the time. Because if it doesn't work, because you're checking to see if it did work, uh, you were thinking of something. Therefore, you weren't thinking of anything. So that means you weren't doing the thing right. So to do this strategy, you have to think of nothing. You cannot think of a single thing. If you think of a single thing, you aren't doing the strategy right. And if you're checking to see if it's working, you're thinking of something, right? So that works 100% of the time, but a lot of people always check. Like, if you're checking to see if it's working, you're thinking of something. Therefore, it's, you're not doing it right. Um, another thing that I can't recommend, but this is good for the, you know, acquainting this. I'd recommend the next strategy uh, in tandem with something else. But you could always try, you know, like some soft drugs. Now, this is 100% legal. It looks like a pill, and it looks very bad. But uh, depending on where you live, this is just a ground up plant called Kratom. I have it. I never use it. I never even tried it, but I have it just for collectors. And there's a lot of shit out there like, you know, CBD or like weed if it's legal where you live and uh, shit like that. Or even caffeine. You know, caffeine makes me super fucking tired. I don't know how people stay awake after drinking caffeine, but, uh, you know, just get those drugs, and that's good because, uh, you know, it gets you in the condition, the sleeping. But I recommend doing that in tandem with something else because you don't want to be dependent on drugs. Like, before you go to sleep, you always have an orange. And then you have, uh, whatever, uh, ground up plant pill. And then you just phase out the plant pill because, uh, non-prescribed medication dependencies are not good but you know to break the sheer lack of going to sleep momentum they can work for like a month but if you're going to use cbd to go to sleep use it in tandem with something else and then phase out the cbd right now a lot of people listen to whatever ambient whatever music in the background I don't recommend that just because it freaking stresses me out. It's just, it's so fucking stressful to try to fucking sleep and you hear music in the background. I mean, everyone's different and it might work for you, but uh, I guess when I put something on, when I'm going to sleep, it's always someone talking because it's a little bit more natural, I guess. But even then, there's the time I like the silence or, you know, if you're going to get something that you're going to have in the background as you go to sleep. It should be something like actually atmospheric, not just uh, fucking artificially whatever ambient music to go to sleep. You could open the window and just like hear the wind come in. That's a really good way to go to sleep. I mean, it's winter time right now, so you'll be pretty fucking cold in the morning if you leave your windows open. But during the summer... Damn, if you just put your windows open and just, like, listen to outside, you know, listen to, like, some birds or the crickets, that'll send you to sleep immediately. Opening the windows is a really good way to go to sleep. Not only that, you get the fresh air in, and you can just sort of, you know, focus on the feeling of that, you know? And the room feels fresh, and it'll send you right to sleep. It'll make you feel colder, so you're, like, more, you're, like, snuggling up, too. But... Uh, there are hour and a half sleep cycles so when you sleep let's say you sleep for half an hour you're not going to get a night's rest but if you sleep for an hour and a half you actually get into the whatever deep sleep cycle and you have to sleep for an hour and a half minimum to get sleep so if you sleep for uh, seven hours uh, an extra hour of that sleep time was uh, didn't at all go to your uh, sleep meter, your exhaustion meter. It did, an hour of that sleep did not go 
to get rid of your exhaustion meter, right? So when you sleep, make sure you sleep for an hour and a half segments. You can always add an extra like 20 minutes onto it so you can actually, you know, fall asleep and then you know, snooze the alarm when you get up. But it's really important to sleep in hour and a half segments. Like either sleep for three hours, four and a half, six, seven and a half, or nine. Don't sleep for like, I mean, four hours is nice because you get that extra hour to, you know, get into it. But anything less than an hour and a half for sleep is a nap. And naps aren't bad. I and mean, I'm not, I'm not going to diss naps, but it's important to realize that uh, naps are not sleeping. Now you can get, now I hear like a half an hour nap is equal to like four or five cups of coffee for energy. So, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not sleep. Uh, another thing I people have said that helps them with sleep uh, is body pillows. I mean, if it works for you, if it works for you, I mean, you're going to always be sleeping by yourself if you use that strategy. But, you know, uh, I will never judge. Uh, it's not my uh, goal to judge. One of the best ways I found to be aware of the fact that you actually want to stay up and play video games instead of going to sleep is this, like, uh, it's sort of a uneasy like pinch in your head. It's just sort of like unnatural grind to it a little bit when you're like trying to sleep and it's not working and it just feels doesn't feel right because you know if you don't want to sleep you're not going to go to sleep and if someone's commenting right now I try every night and it doesn't work and that is because you do not want to go to sleep. It w you will stay up if you want to stay up, right? Unless you've been up for like 20 hours, then you'll fucking pass out. But you're going to have to want it. And being aware of when you don't actually want it and you're just doing it because you have work in four hours <laughs> is uh, is different, right? It is different and it is important to realize that. Now, what else? I think that's all I have. I think that is all I have. I, uh, you're sleeping. I'll go through the four basic ones that I always use that have always worked for me. Just to conclude. The first one is I think about how bad it is to not sleep while I'm in my bed staring at the wall. And it just occurs to me, I'm like, wow, I should fucking go to sleep so I don't have fucking eye bags. Uh, the other uh, second thing... I think about is I get into it for like five minutes and I think about how difficult it would be to get up and that works really well. The other thing is that I uh, condition myself with I wear a mouth guard every time I sleep and I only wear that when I sleep so when I put it on I, I get super freaking tired. And the final thing is to turn off the lights. <laughs> 